Thank you to HyperX YouTube channel for sending us here this year. Check out youtube.com slash KingstonHyperX for some cool gaming videos. Also, thank you to lynda.com and Phantom Glass. All right, guys, so you've probably seen my review on Spotswood test benches. Uh, hopefully, it's somewhere on the screen. I'm not entirely sure. Before in the past, also in my personal build log update, I had a Spotswood test bench there as well. But I did not expect to see them here at PAX East 2015. And I especially didn't expect to see them with a IKEA cabinet. So, opening the first drawer in the cabinet, we see a small ITX board, basically a little 1U blade, although it's not really the same dimensions as a U, but it's similar to a 1U blade. He can fit 80 millimeter fans in here, three and a half inch or two and a half inch drives. You've got two vandal switches at the front, which you can use for power and reset or whatever the heck you want. And that's about it. You've, you, you sift the power cables through the back of the case. And if that's not enough for you, moving down, opening the bigger drawer, we have a dual MATX one. So you can have an MATX board on each side of this one. And you've got two and a half inch or three and a half inch drives again. You've got much more spots for much bigger fans. So I believe in here he's fit three 120 millimeter fans, but you could change the configuration to your liking. I know that fan way up in the front may not be super effective, so you could remove that, maybe put drives up there, do whatever the heck you want, extremely modular. What is not pictured here is another one. So he has a, a five drawer version or five U version or whatever the heck you want to call it at this point, uh, which can fit an ATX motherboard. So if you want to fit an even larger system, maybe you want a full size power supply as well, you could go with that one. But that being said, if you go with, say, the MATX version and decide to not install two systems, you'd be able to install stuff like a larger power supply or a bigger graphics card, which you might need that larger power supply for, so on and so forth. So as with Spotswood, normally things are extremely modular. And if you contact him, he'll be able to help you build something to your liking. So these are kind of in the design of maybe a render farm or a processing farm or a compute server or something like that. But if you wanted to do something gaming-like, he'd probably be able to do something up for you as well. All right, guys, thank you to HyperX again for sending us here this year. Be sure to check out their YouTube channel, youtube.com slash KingstonHyperX. They released a ton of cool gaming videos, and I think we also have videos on there as well. So be sure to subscribe to see some pretty cool stuff from them. Also, store.phantomglass.com to pick up the best damn screen protectors out there, and lynda.com slash PAX to learn some pretty cool freaking stuff. One thing I must note is that this setup doesn't come with the filing cabinet. This is, I believe, a Milner filing cabinet from Ikea. I don't remember the exact model, but it's something from Ikea. But if you're interested in any of this stuff, just look up spotswoodcomputercases.com and contact the guy. He'll be able to help you build pretty much whatever you want. Let me know in the comments down below if this is something you're interested in. Thank you for watching. Stay subscribed to Linus Tech Tips for all of our PAX East 2015 content.